Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and for this video today I was thinking of doing those three three sea creatures but it would just take too long so I decided to divide it into three parts and today we will be painting this whale and some beautiful flowers. This one is a little bit more difficult but if you find it too challenging you can always switch the flowers and paint simpler ones. I will be using this Arsh watercolor paper. It is 300 GSM or 140 pounds, stained by 14 inches, and I have divided it into two parts. And also I did do a sketch earlier on just a regular printing paper and sketch is, is always available for download from my website. There is a link down in the description box. So, so you can download it for yourself, trace it and join in. I'm mixing in some colors from Etcher. This is a pretty pink and also from my collection of colors, violet and this beautiful brown color, which I love adding to pinks. It just gives it a, such a deep tone. So I am doing a swatch starting from the darkest value of the color going to the lighter one. Also, except the mix of those today colors, I will be using some yellow from the Etcher palette again and some raw sienna, something like raw sienna from my palette, mix those two in to create this beautiful deep rich yellow color. And this is going to be the second color I will be using in this painting. First, I will start with smaller round brush. This is number four, I think. All the supplies I do love and recommend you can find in my Amazon storefront. So there is a link down in the description box. Those are my affiliate links. And if you do purchase something, I will get a small commission with no extra cost to you. So now starting with the painting. And first, usually I do start with I would start with the veil, but this time I decided to start with this detailed part of the painting with the flowers. And as mentioned earlier, you can definitely change up the flowers if you find them to be too detailed, too difficult. You can just paint in any shape of the flowers you like, maybe some simpler roses. There is also a series of tutorials for, for painting simple flowers on my channel, so you can definitely find some of those. and instead of these flowers that I am painting that are, as I said, a little bit more detailed and difficult, you can just paint in a simpler flowers. So I am using this detail brush and also smaller round brush. First, I'm doing the lines and the details with that detail brush and then smudging it with a round brush, just spreading the paint onto my petals. And since I am using one color to paint flowers, Definitely, I do need a little bit more values, so I am using a darker value and a lighter value to create shadows and highlights on my painting. And those two flowers that are on the right side I'm painting right now and the left flower I will be painting next are actually completely the same flowers. So you can paint them same or you can just follow me. I, did, I didn't paint them exactly the same, but somewhat similar. So you can just find the easier way. If the first one I've painted is easier for you, you can paint it that way. Or if the second way is easier for you, you can paint them that way. For me, it was easiest to just add that darker value and spread it slightly onto the entire petal. Some petals I did privet, some petals I did not privet. I just started to paint wet on dry. And I'm just thinking about creating the impression of the flowers. I, I did not paint, try to paint them very, very realistic. Just the impression and playing with those shadows and highlights, creating beautiful petal shapes. And since this painting is very, very small, those flowers are small and very detailed, I am using a smaller brushes. But if you're going to use a larger scale of painting and those flowers are going to be larger, of course, you will be needing some larger brushes.
also apart from those two lilies I do have some roses here and again you can paint them in a very much simpler way you don't have to do them this way I did paint I did drew all the petals in my sketch and I did a drew detail sketch but you can just find that sketch as a guideline you don't have to follow every single shape every single petal just maybe a guideline where to place your flowers how to position them and you can paint in a simpler again simpler shape I do have I believe I do have a rose tutorial also so you can follow that one it is a simple loose rose so it could also be easier for you especially if you are a beginner I will link those videos down in the description box so you can find them and follow them a little bit more easier again also those roses I am painting in the same way some petals I am painting very light with a light wash and then on top adding more details some darker values or I am adding darker values on the edges and then spreading it, smudging it slightly, softening it with, little, with that round brush onto the entire petal. And again, looking from closer, those flowers are far from perfect. If you're looking them from the further away, you do have the impression of the flowers and that is the point. It doesn't have to be every single detail on the flowers. When I was happy with my flowers, I left it to dry completely. You do need to leave this to dry completely in between those layers because now that we start to paint our well, we do want flowers to be dry completely. And now just with the clean water, I am privetting the part where the veil is. And now picking up a very, very large amount of the pigment and starting on the left edge, adding that darker value, darker pigment on that edge I do want that part to be darker and the one part the part where the belly is to be lighter so I will be painting his flippers and his tail also a little bit darker and the belly a little bit lighter so just filling in the paint stopping in with the tip of my brush here and there making some parts a little bit darker and some parts a little bit lighter and with the lighter value I'm painting in the edge for the belly and then just moving the paint and adding a very very light tone to the central part. And right now I am using a brush that can hold a very, very much water, a large amount of the water. So this one is maybe a little bit more difficult to use if you want to paint a darker tone because wherever, whenever you pick up the paint with that brush, since it does hold a lot of the water, it will add that water to your paint and dilute it slightly but I do love it because it covers a large surfaces and since it does hold, hold a lot of water I can just go very very far with it a little bit more of the tones to the belly and now adding some yellows again to the belly is just to introduce that second color and to make a little bit more interest to my painting I won't be using it everywhere, just slightly on his head, upper part of the body and his belly. Some splatters, of course, what, what would it would be without the splatters, some pink splatters. And also later on I will be adding some yellow splatters. Now painting in the flippers. First I am adding a light value, light value and I will be adding a little bit more of the pigment later on to making it slightly darker. When finished with those flippers I left it to dry completely because the paint where the body of the veil is still wet 
it is slightly bleeding from the flippers so I will be leaving it to dry completely because I do want that edge to be visible to be harsh so that is why I will be adding a little bit more of the distinction later on when the paint dries. Now a little bit more details to the belly, those lines that whale, blue whale has, even though it is a blue whale, this one is not really a blue whale, it's a pink whale. Yes, I forgot to say, you can of course change up the colors if you like using some other colors, you don't have to paint it in this, you can paint it blue, you can paint it yellow, green, however you like. As I was saying earlier, a little bit more of those details to the flippers, making some parts of it a little bit darker and making a little bit stronger distinction between them and the body. Again, I left it to dry completely. It has to be dry for using ink pen and then with actually this is a gel pen and then with this gel pen white gel pen I've added some details some white dots I thought it could be nice and add a little bit more of the glowiness to it so this is definitely an optional step if you do want to add it you can add it if not you don't have to some splatters with white gouache and we are done we are finished not that difficult right and super fun I hope you will join me for the next two also and with this we'll be finishing on this video this painting I hope you guys like it if you do please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really mean a lot to me and thank you thank you so much for watching I hope I'll see you next time bye